Good morning, good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 9th. I gotta verify the date, but I know it's Wednesday. Um, first of all, y'all see how voluminous my hair is in the mornings? And then, baby, in the p.m., all of these curls have dropped. That's okay. So, I didn't have you guys this morning when I was doing my Bible study. So, I'm going to tell you guys what we read today. Just a quick recap. <clears throat> so, we started, we did verse 14 today. And it says, stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. So, I'm going to do one segment of the armor per day. So, this verse has both the belt of, belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness, which, if you old school King James, breastplate. That's what it's like. So, we did the belt. So the notes that I have, so the definition of a belt is a strip of leather or other material worn around the waist or around the chest, especially in order to support clothes or carry weapons. So the way I looked at it is the belt is used to keep your clothes together and keep you together and everything in place. So... Use that as the thing that governs you each day. Each day to make sure you're together, to make sure you're in the right place, to make sure that you're good. Um, you should always be in truth. You should always live in your truth. Truth should be the thing that, you know, makes you do what, what it is that you do. Um, you should all, as a Christian, you should always live your life in truth. You should always be truthful. You should not be deceiving. You should not be doing any of those things. So the belt of truth should be the thing that keeps you on track and together each day. One other thing that I noted is that in order to, when you put the belt on for a soldier, Putting your belt on, you put that on before you put on the rest of the stuff. Before you put on your body armor, before you put on all those other things, you put your belt on. And in the commentary I was reading, it was saying that um, <clears throat> when people get comfortable, they take their belt off. So back in the day, when they were done fighting, they took their belt off. I look at it now. When you eat too much and your clothes is too tight and together, when you want to release, you take your belt off. So you should always keep it on because you don't want to get too comfortable. Because the minute that you get comfortable, that's when the devil strikes. So uh, quickly just share that. That's um, our belt of truth today. And then tomorrow we'll do the armor or the breastplate of righteousness so i'm gonna finish getting jt ready i wanted to come and share that before my day gets started because once again i have a busy 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 day it's busy i still have somebody um from our corporate office visiting so i have to be around and do mommy, all of that today so mommy. yes baby i want to want he wants this one. Okay, so let me put his clothes on and get out the door. All right, y'all. As you see, I got on. I got on my blue light glasses. Because, <laughs> your girl, I have earned my paycheck today. I had to go get the baby early, which is technically not early. It was like his regular... Like, school gets out at 3, but I have him after, in after school program because mom got to work. I ain't got nobody to go pick him up. It's, it's just me, you know, single mama. <laughs> so, um, they called me talking about he was warm. 
You remember last week they called me and asked me to come get him. And I had to go get him because they told me he was coughing. Now today they told me he was warm. And I was like, I can't come get him. I'm in the middle of meeting with someone from my corporate office. And I got meetings. I can't come get him. Like, it, does he have a fever or no? And so the teacher was like, well, no, he doesn't. Well, I don't know because I can't take his temperature because I'm not the nurse. What is this? So I was like, okay, whatever. So I had to go get him at three. Because I was busy, we had meetings, and I was meeting with the corporate guy. I ain't had time to do payroll, so now I got to work from home, baby. One thing about me, I do not like working from home. Either I'm going to work from home or I'm going to work in the building. I'm not doing both because you don't have any boundaries and you just work 24-7. I don't like that. But I have to work from home because I left early and I don't have time to do it. And if I don't do it, then I'm going to not be ready for tomorrow. And I don't want to set myself up for failure by starting off tomorrow already behind. And then when I got home, I stayed on the phone for like a couple of minutes because... I got these drivers that didn't got into it and I got to de-escalate from the phone and uh, I'm like look I need y'all to do y'all job that's all I need y'all to do if it don't affect your job shut up drive that's all I need you to do if somebody tell me it does this affect your job no keep it moving Mind your business. If it don't affect your operations and your every other Friday, mind your business. If I can get them to understand that, I would be better off. And then JT's been hollering all, all afternoon. Why? I don't know. I'm like, sir, I'm going to need you to get it together. So I'm going to take his bath because he used the restroom and got his underwear wet. So now he's talking about his underwear wet and he can't put him back on. Okay, not a problem. So you're getting in the shower. So I'm going to make him put get in the shower and he's going to scream and yell while my YouTube video upload. Oh, then I don't forget, I, have to, I had to edit that, which was enough. So I'm going to put him in the shower and then plus my camera is saying I don't have no memory. So I'm going to put him in the shower and I'm going to come back all right guys so i took jamar's shower and now i'm about to take my shower but i want to tell y'all this funny story that happened today so my watch was off and i was like oh my god i lost my apple watch oh my god i looked at my car i retraced my steps from my car to the door i did everything everything y'all while my apple watch was in my pants i guess i had put my hand in like to tuck my shirt in and when i went to tuck my shirt in my watch came out and it was <laughs> stuck in the back of my pants i was like oh my god <laughs> this is insane <laughs> it's crazy <sighs> I laughed um but so these few days I have not had a lot of action going on because I have been so busy at work like so busy so I do apologize but that's okay because it's vlogtober so you have to post every day Let's just be realistic. If you really doing vlog vlogtober the way you supposed to do it, you ain't got nothing going on every single day. Now, if you planned out content, like you specifically picked, um, uh, like I had said in another vlog, that um, people pre-plan and like film stuff ahead of time so that they can have content. I mean, if you did that, then yeah. But if you're doing like I'm doing, which is doing it how it's truly meant to be done, which is record every day and post every day, 
You ain't got something to do every day. Some days you ain't got nothing to do. Some days you just, like today, all I did was work. And when I get out the shower, it is, let's see, it's 847. And when I get out the shower, I still have to work. So today is just one of those days where I just don't have much going on. And that's okay because I have been pumping out my vlogs daily. And they have been longer than 15 minutes, 20 minutes, a couple of them been like 40 something minutes. So I'm good. So if I post this one today and it's 10 minutes, don't y'all say nothing. Give me my grace and say, you know what? She been working hard. She been working hard, so we, we, we good with that. So, yeah, uh, so, that's my phone. So, yeah, I'm going to take a shower, say goodnight, because after this, I got to finish up my work. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Do